Android Oreo has been officially released for a couple weeks now, and since the Google Pixel 2 is almost here, I thought it'd be the perfect time to show off some great tricks and tips I found within this new juicy update. Let's start off with my favorite trick, theming the overall UI without obtaining root or flashing a custom ROM. This is done with an app called Substratum Theme Engine, which is basically a library of all your themes that you can download from the Play Store, and Andromeda, which is an add-on package to allow you to enable these custom themes. I can change the look of the settings, quick settings tiles, navigation bar, recent menu and notifications, as well as theming on a per app basis, including the Play Store, phone, Gmail, messages, and more. There are some things that are still not working, such as not being able to theme the status bar, and you do have some limitations, such as not being able to change the boot animation and system-wide font, as these two items absolutely require root access. But other than that, it works flawlessly. If you want a more detailed review and tutorial on how you can get this on your device, I made a whole separate video just on this topic, so I definitely recommend checking out that video if you have Android 8.0. With this huge update, Google has focused on improving the battery life by clamping down on what apps can do in the background. So when you go into the battery settings and tap on the three dot menu, there is now an option called show app usage, which will show you how much juice an app has used with a percentage next to it, the amount of time you actually used it, and the amount of time it's been running in the background. It really helps determine which of those suckers are battery draining without you even using them. The text selection dialog also got a bit smarter. When you highlight some random text, you get the standard copy slash paste buttons, but it starts to get interesting when you highlight something like a phone number, URL, or street address. It now shows icons and contextual actions to save you from the whole copy and paste step. For example, if you select an address, the dialog will have the option to search the address on Google Maps. If it's a phone number, you can quickly launch it within the phone app. If you're tired of toggling the Wi-Fi on when you get home or at a regular location, you now don't have to remember. Within the Wi-Fi settings under Wi-Fi preferences, there is a feature known as turn on Wi-Fi automatically, which will automatically switch Wi-Fi on when you get near a trusted network. It works based on your location and it works just fine since Google already knows where your Wi-Fi networks are. For those of you who hate typing in the same password, profile information, or username, Android Oreo now has an autofill API, so if you use an app like LastPass, you won't have to worry about typing in your login information for any app as it can do it for you with a tap of a button. If you want to find an app's widget immediately within the Pixel Launcher, you can now tap and hold on the app's icon and look for the button with four squares. Tapping that should immediately bring up a list of all the widgets the app supports and you can place it on your home screen. This next feature isn't really a trick or tip, but something you should definitely know. According to Google, Android Oreo will make your phone reboot a lot faster. In regards to the Pixel, for example, it reboots twice as fast and it's definitely noticeable. I'm not 100% certain, but no other phone that I have tested so far has ever booted up this fast. Another great trick is you can now easily set a custom ringtone, alarm sound, and notification sound within the settings. Just go to sound, advance, tap on the sound you would like to change, and at the bottom there should be an option to add your own ringtone. Just make sure you have the mp3 file on your phone beforehand. This last trick is for those of you who are not a big fan of the notification dots. If you don't even know what those are, they're just colorful dots that appear at the corner of an app's icon in the Pixel Launcher when that app has a notification. Some people love it, others hate it. If you want to remove it, just go to the settings, apps and notifications, notifications, and toggle the allow notification dots. Well, that's it for this video. There's plenty of other features that I left out as I only wanted to show you the smaller hidden features that are still quite useful. If you want to see a full detailed review of Android 8.0, make sure to check out that video in the corner. Also get subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.